from? I uh, didn't start till I was about 30. My mother was a folk art painter and my dad did woodwork. And so it was kind of a natural to start doing that. When I started painting, I started on canvases and I just didn't like the way they gave. When you put a paintbrush to canvas, they, they give, they stretch. There's a lot of texture in it where the paint, it, and I just wasn't a real big fan. But I had some wood sitting around and started painting on that and loved it. And then I started looking around at all these old houses that were being torn down and stuff just thrown away. And the opportunity to give that wood new life, because it already has its own story. I mean, a lot of this stuff is 80, 100 years old, and then some. And to be able to take that, which is perfectly good, would have otherwise like, gone to a landfill and show people that we often throw things away. We, we go to like a lot of single use items and things like that, taking things that other people have said are, you know, this is dead, it's done, and giving it another life and reinventing it is, is really cool to me. You'll turn a corner and there will be, it'll just be like, oh, look at all that wood. <laughs> Which is the shit I get excited about now. One of the reasons I started painting in the style that I paint in, I use a lot of color and I use, often I use bold shapes, bolder designs. I like working in a large format. Was something that I started doing, not realizing it was because I was losing vision in my eye. Found out I had a cataract a few years ago. It affected my depth perception so much. I was having to close, I was painting with one eye closed a lot. That's why, like I said, a lot of my work tends to be larger and in, in, in scale and very bright in color because of that. It, it was easier for me to see the high contrast. Sometimes it feels like a piece is, is never done. There are times where it's done enough. Sometimes I know, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll think it's done, just like the piece I'm working on now. I went to bed, it was finished. I got up and wanted to fix one thing, and now it's a day later and I'm still working on it. I fixed something and then I had to fix what I fixed. And sometimes I'll just turn on the idea. Like, I just don't like it and I will paint over an entire painting. Be like, fuck this noise, we're starting over. And I've had friends lose their minds over stuff like that sometimes. When I feel like I've done my best, I'll, I'll step away from it. And unless it goes home with somebody, it, it's never really done. There is still a desire for hand-painted goods. There is a, like a level of, of quality and history associated with that. I mean, shit, we've only been doing it since cavemen. The tangibility of like hand-painted art is still something that people inherently desire. And I don't, I don't think that'll ever go away. 